one. Hello and welcome to Mindful Kids Yoga in the comfort of your own home. So from my little bubble to yours, I'll say namaste and welcome. Thank you for coming along today. We are, um, I have my two little yogis here, Tegan and Dylan, who are again helping me to be super brave. Um, and today we're gonna just move our bodies and have a little bit of fun. Um, we are going to do a session based on a book by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Rees called Giraffes Can't Dance. It's another favorite of ours that these guys have grown up with, so it's a little bit of fun and it's all about um, the moral of the story is to have some self-love. So we will embrace that through the story and do some nice um, yoga moves. And again, if you do not know the story, please do not worry. I'll be saying the words. You just follow the yoga moves. And if you can't keep up or you're not sure what you're doing, just stop and join in when you can. Okay? So there's no stress, no pressure. And again, it's always more fun to do yoga together. So grab your big people grab your little people and have some fun with it. Um, and just find some space around your house. Um, you don't need a mat, you just need to find a little space where you can all just um, do some nice yoga together. Okay, so giraffes are actually, um, giraffes are an animal that make no sound. They have no vocal cords. Um, they're one of the tallest mammals um, and they also have one of the longest tongues so they can actually clean their ears with their tongue. Their tongue is like two foot long. Um, and they can't reach the ground with their heads unless they move their front legs out of the way. So um, there's some trivia for you to start off. Okay, so when we're ready, we're gonna start moving our minds and our bodies to do our yoga. But we're just gonna settle into the space where we are. So we can actually just sit down on our bums and cross our legs. And we're just going to arrive into our space again and just take some deep breaths. If we've had a busy day, we're feeling a bit tired, we're just going to try and gather some energy by just staying in this one space. And we're going to take three big deep breaths again like we always do. So bring your hands down by your side. I'm going to reach to the sky. Breathe in, up like a tall giraffe and breathe out. I'm going to breathe in like a tall giraffe and breathe out and again breathe in like a tall giraffe and breathe out. Oh, that's made us feel a little bit better. And we're going to open our class today again like we always do with one round of arm. You're just going to follow my lead and going to breathe in and breathe out and then I'm going to breathe in again and out to chant. Oh. Oh. Ah, let's just bask in that lovely energy for a moment. A little nice massage for our hearts and our tummies and our head. Okay, so when we're ready, we're going to do our giraffes can't dance yoga. So we're going to stand up tall on the top of our mats, tall like a tall giraffe. So we're going to get up onto our tippy toes and our arms up in the air with our hands over our heads. Okay, so Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees, let's get into our squat, his knees were rather bandy. <gasps> And his legs were rather thin. He was good at standing tall, so it stands up tall like a mountain, and munching shoots off trees into a tree pose, everyone. But when he came to jump around, he buckled at the knees. Let's get into our lunges, buckling at the knees. Now, every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance. Everybody into dancer pose. And lift her leg and grab her leg from behind into her dancer pose where every single animal turns up to skip and prance into a warrior then this year when the day arrived for gerald felt so bad let's just lean 
forward because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. Oh. The warthogs started waltzing. So we're gonna move side to side, and side to side, waltzing side to side. And the rhinos rock and roll. Let's get into our rhino pose with our horn. They rocked and they rolled. The lions <sighs> danced a tango that was elegant and bold into our warrior again. The chimps all did a cha-cha. Let's get into our monkey pose. Chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. Let's move our bums in the air. Move our booties. And eight baboons all teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Grab your hands and grab your other hands. Woohoo! The Scottish reel, eight baboons all teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. <laughs> Good job. And Gerald swallowed bravely. Let's lift up tall like a giraffe. Swallow bravely as he walked towards the floor. Let's do our lunges like we're walking. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Rawr! Look at clumsy Gerald. Let's move side to side like clumsy Gerald. The animals all laughed. Let's get into our happy baby pose like we're laughing. Sit down on our backs, their legs in the air and grabbing our feet. Oh, the animals all laughed at him. Giraffes can dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, don't be daft. Let's sit back up again. <sighs> Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot like a tree. Rooted to the spot like a tree. And the other side, he's right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor. Let's move back. He crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. Let's walk in our lunges. Ah. And he found, started walking home. And he felt a little sad and so sad and so alone. Let's lean forward and feel sad and alone. Then he found a little clearing. Let's move up and he looked up at the sky. Let's reach to the sky. The moon, let's do our moon pose. Wouldn't the side to side, the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Let's do our moon on the other side. Oh, a nice moon pose. Moon is banana pose. It's like banana, isn't it? Then, excuse me, coughed a cricket. Let's jump like a cricket. Jump. Oh, I've seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Ah. Oh, Listen to the swaying grass. Let's get into a swaying grass pose. Side to side, swaying grass. And listen to the trees. Everybody into tree pose again on one side. And that tree pose on the other side. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. Let's move side to side like the wind in the breeze. Imagine that the moon is playing just for you. Let's do our moon pose again. One side and the other side. Everything makes music if we really want it to. And with that, the cricket jumped. Let's jump again. Jump. And he picked up his violin. Let's pretend we're playing a violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started lifting and making circles in the ground. Let's make circles with our feet. His neck was gently lifting and his tail was swishing around. Let's swish around our tails in the back. Swish, swish. And he threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. <sighs> Swinging them everywhere. And he did a backwards somersault. Let's lean back. And he leapt up in the air. Let's do a big jump in the air again. <gasps> ah. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. 
I'm dancing. Let's get into a dancer pose. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. <gasps> I'm dancing, Gerald cried. <laughs> then one by one, let's get into our lunges. One by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. It's a miracle, they said. We must be in a dream. Gerald is the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. <sighs> how is it you can dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twizzled round, twizzled round, and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above as Jeremy Moon pose. Ah. Everyone can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Ah. That's nice. Let's everybody sit down on our bums and lie down on our backs and get into our relaxation pose. Ah. That was a nice little story about Gerald. Gerald, the giraffe. <sighs> about self-love and being happy with yourself. And finding your own music to dance to. Not listening to those who tell you you can't do something. Doing what you want, following your path to find your own happiness. Oh, as we lie in our relaxation, just taking a moment to send some lovely energy to all those around the world who need it. Take one more big deep breath. We'll roll over onto our side. And we'll take a seat up on our bums again. <sighs> and we find kindness and acceptance of ourselves. Just the way we are. We'll find our own happiness and our own way in this world. We're going to finish the class just the way we started with one big round of arm. When we're ready, we're going to take a big deep breath in and a big deep breath out. And a big deep breath in. Thank you so much, everybody. We hope you really enjoyed that as much as we did. So from myself, Jewel, from Tegan, and from Dylan, from our hearts, to your hearts, we'll say namaste, namaste. and thank you. Mm. Namaste. Thank you guys. We hope you got something out of that. We'll see you next time.